We're going to learn about uh, writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines in lesson 37. And we're going to start with postulate 17, which states if two lines are parallel, then they have the same slope. So if you have a line of y equals 2x plus 2, 2 is our slope. So if a line is going to be parallel to this line, it must have a slope of 2. Whatever else, uh, the y-intercept can be anything. But since they have a same slope of 2, the lines are parallel. And then we have postulate 18 that says if two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is negative 1. AKA, to me an easier way to explain this, is what's known as opposite reciprocals. Well, what's an opposite reciprocal? Opposite reciprocals is take a fraction, take negative 3 over 2. Its opposite reciprocal would be positive 2 over 3. You simply flip the numerator and denominator, and then the negative becomes a positive or vice versa. If you have the number 5, its negative reciprocal would be negative 1 over 5. And notice if you did multiply them, they would have a product of negative 1, but I don't think of it that way as much. I think of opposite reciprocals. So let's look at example 1 now. It'll do all three parts, A, B, and C. The first thing it wants us to do is find the slope of this line. Well, the slope formula, hopefully we know it by now, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 is negative 3. Therefore, y1 is 0. x2 is 0. And x1 would then be 1. We solve to get negative 3 over negative 1, so your slope equals a positive 3. Positive 3. Now the next question says find a line or find a parallel slope to line A. Find parallel slope, M is for slope, to line A. Well, like we said in postulate 17, Postulate 17 says that if two lines are parallel, then they have the same slope. So, in order for line A, uh, for there to be a par parallel slope, it would have to be 3. It would have to be the same as what we already have. And then find a perpendicular slope. Well, perpendicular is the opposite reciprocal. So, opposite reciprocal um, of 3 over 1 would be negative, and then flip numerator and denominator, 1 over 3. Negative 1 over 3 would be your answer. So, that's how you would do that. Hopefully, that gives you the basis of understanding you need. So, now let's look at a couple more types of problems that they could throw at us. Example 2 says, are the lines y equals 2x plus 4 and y equals negative 3 plus 2x parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, the first thing we want to do is get these in y equals mx plus b form, because we'll be able to see it better in that form. This one already has that, y equals 2x plus 4. Once we get it here, we'll be able to look at the slopes. This one has it swapped. So what I want to do here is move the x, uh, the 2x, to where it is uh, supposed to be in the linear equation and move the negative 3 to the b slot. And what that would give me is y equals 2x minus 3. So now that we know this, are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither? All you have to do is look at the slope. m is the key. So we look at m here is 2 and here is 2, therefore they are parallel. Let's look at one more example. y equals 2 thirds x minus 1 and y equals 3 halves x. Are the lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, our slope here is 2 thirds 
Our slope here is three halves. They're not the same, so it's not parallel. And they're not, they flipped numerator and denominator. However, it did not switch the sign. So therefore, this would be neither. The perpendicular slope to 2 thirds would have been negative 3 over 2. Um, and so you just got to solve and find the slope. One more example. This is actually example 4. I wrote example 3. <clears throat> it wants us to find a line perpendicular to 2 thirds x and passes through the point 2, 4. On these, what we're going to do, we're going to take the y equals 2 thirds x. And we want to find a line perpendicular. Well, first, I'm going to go ahead and graph this just to help you all see it a little bit better. Um, we don't have a b, right? Since there's no b, what that actually means is our y-intercept is at the origin. We just don't write plus zero. That's implied. And then we use our slope 2 over 3. And found 2 to the left 3. Draw our line. So I just drew this line. This line is graphed. I'm going to call this line A. We need to find a line perpendicular to that. Well, perpendicular, we just said, all right, is opposite reciprocal. Opposite reciprocal of 2 thirds is negative 3 over 2. So now we have a new equation of y equals mx plus b, and we're trying to fill in the blanks. This is our new line, our new linear equation. We already know m is uh, negative 3 halves. Do we know y and x? Well, yes, we do. We know a line, or sorry, we know a coordinate on the line. x is 2, y is 4. So I plug in 4 for y, 2 for x, plus b. And then we can simplify. Well, 2 times negative 3 over 2, the 2's cross out when that's over 1. And you're left with negative 3 plus b equals getting ahead of myself, equals 4, add the 3 to both sides, and get 7 equals b. So our line would be y equals negative 3 halves x minus plus, sorry, plus 7. And now when I graph that, I go up to 7, and I go down 3, over 2, down 1, 2, 3, over 2. And so our line looks somewhat like that. I kind of missed my dots. But it creates a perpendicular line, or perpendicular lines, 90 degrees. And that is how you solve uh, for graphing a line perpendicular or parallel to a given line.